What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Demarius Jackson and in today's video we're going to be talking about false fingerings. So false fingerings shouldn't be confused too much with alternate fingerings. So an example of an alternate fingering is like F sharp for example. So if I were to play F sharp this way or if I were to play it this way. I guess you could consider false fingerings an alternate fingering that results in a different timbre of the note that you're actually playing. And a lot of the false fingerings that I'm gonna go over in this video are based off of harmonics and playing overtones on different notes. However, there are a few that I personally don't use the harmonic for. I use a different fingering to kind of choke off the note to change the timbre, and we'll go over that here shortly. Learning these false fingerings can definitely give you a creative spark to add to your improvisation. Check out these players here. So for this video, I'm going to start on our middle B flat and we're going to go all the way up to C sharp. So without further ado, let's get started. First one is B flat. So for this example, I'm actually using the harmonic. I'm playing the first note in the overtone series of that low B flat. So for this one, I'm using this personally, and then I'm also fingering one, two, three, one, two, three, low B flat, and just alternating between the two. And the best way to learn this is that it stays the same all the way from that middle B flat, at least for me, to that middle C sharp. <laughs> So for each one of those false fingerings, all I simply did was play the equivalent note essentially down an octave from B flat all the way to C sharp. Now for D and E flat, or D sharp, however you wanna think of it, I do something slightly different. So for this D, what I'm doing is the normal fingering for it, of course, is one, two, three, one, two, three octave key. Now for this one, all I'm doing is sliding my finger off of the octave key, and at the same time, pressing down on this palm key. So I know a lot of players that actually will use just the palm key, but for me, the timbre of that note and the intonation of it is way, at least in my opinion, way different from the actual fingering of the D. But you can do it on a slight pinch. Uh, a lot of my favorite players like Dick Oates love to use uh, these palm keys for those notes and it sounds really, really slick and good. But back to this fingering. So like I said, my normal D finger is one, two, three, one, two, and three in the octave key. And so for this one, I'm sliding off the octave key and pressing down the palm uh, D here. And so there you have it. Once again, it's a really subtle movement. It kind of has to be precise for it to work. Occasionally you might get a, a different note up an octave, but just work with your voicing and I'm sure you'll get it. And for the E flat, I do the exact same thing. I'm sliding my finger off of the octave key, but for this one, I'm using both palm keys as if I'm playing that high E flat or high D sharp. So it's one and two right here. <laughs> The tendency for a lot of students and a lot of saxophone players for this one is not to want to keep these fingers down uh, without trying to bend really, really too hard. Just concentrate on keeping your fingers down and like I said, playing these two keys back here in the palm keys. All right, moving on to E. For this one, I'm playing my normal E, one, two, three, one, and two. And then for this one, I'm holding down my low C here. Sounds like this. <laughs> And like I said before, this is one of the ones where I more so choke the sound of the note than play something totally different or play a harmonic for that one. All right, let's move on to F and F sharp. Now for these, all I do is play that low harmonic. So for F, what I mean by that is my normal fingering is one, two, and three, and one octave key. For this one, I'm playing low B flat and playing the harmonic for that one. And then the same thing for that F sharp. I'm playing my normal fingering, and then I finger down to low B. B for F sharp and playing the harmonic off of B. Sounds like this. All right, moving on to G. What I do for this one is I don't play the harmonic, but what I do play is this is my normal finger for G, right? I play in my right hand two and three and then low uh, C here, low C. Sounds like this. 
Now you could easily do one, two, and three, but I think over time, I've just grown accustomed to doing two and three with that low C. So that works out a little bit better for me. Moving on to G sharp, what I do for this one is play the harmonic. So for G sharp, we have this G sharp. Actually, when I'm purposely playing the harmonic, I won't even play the actual spatula key. I'll play the spatula key for the C sharp as that's the note that I'm gonna play for the false fingering or the harmonic, if you will. So this is what I do for G sharp, and then I just simply add one, two, three, and my low C for that low C sharp. It sounds like this. All right, let's move on to A. So my normal fingering for A, of course, is one and two, the octave key. For this one, I add in my right hand, one, two, and three. No C for that one, just one, two, and three. It sounds like this. And then for these last few that I have B flat, B natural, C and C sharp, what I do is I finger the low fingering for that. So for those, I'm playing the harmonic. Once again, if you're having trouble getting the sound in, it's usually a voicing problem and a tongue position problem. You may wanna think a higher tongue position and say something like E. Remember, I have a video on it, I'll link it up here talking about altissimo, but it's more so voicing and vowels, A, E, I, O, and U, and keeping a high tone position. So once again, for B flat, I'm using bis for this one. I'm just fingering low B flat, B natural, here, low B, C, I'm fingering low C, and C sharp, of course, C sharp. It sounds like this. And so there you go. Those are all the false fingerings from B flat all the way up to high C sharp. For that little lick that I played at the beginning of the video, it's very, very simple what I'm doing. It sounds complex and it sounds like you're playing something really, really fast, but you're not. I'm playing it, I'll do it slowly and I'll get close to the camera, but I'm playing A, alternate fingering back to A. And then I'm going down to G sharp and then down to G and I'm playing G, alternate finger for that and back up to G. And then chromatically from G sharp, or excuse me, from G to G sharp and then back to A and playing the alternate finger for that. And then what you wanna do is just basically build up speed. So I'll play it slow and then we'll do one time fast. All right, so there you have it. Those are a couple of false fingerings. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video. Be safe out there.